Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. So it's getting cold and I had really good results last year with using compost to heat my greenhouse. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my small leaf mold pile up and I'm going to use that to heat my greenhouse. I had really good results with it last year. So let's start again and get this comp greenhouse warmed up for the next few weeks coming up and then we'll fire the big hot bed up as well. So it's a little bit brutal I know but this is going to go. Bismillah. There we go. Just one massive branch that's taken out. So these chilies grow huge. Absolutely huge. So that's one branch that's come off. And I'll pick the chilies off that in a second. There's a really good chilli plant in there. So I don't want to lose that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that hole. Yeah, so once I open this leaf mold piled up, I'm, that chilli plant that I've just cut down, I'm going to over, I'm going to pull the roots out and I'm going to pop that up. And that little plant there, I'm going to pop that up and we're going to take those indoors. Well, I won't take them indoors. What I'll do is I'll, once I've put the leaf mold pile back up and it's starting to heat up again, I'll put the pots on top and I'll keep them warm that way. So let's get rid of this rat pile. Let's just hope no rats jump out on me. I'm pretty sure this is a rat. I mean, he's done a good job of digging the soil over. <laughs> I didn't realise that we're not we're no dig. Mr. Rotty. See, I get I bet it's this guy that ate all my um ate all my seeds. Because loads of my I had loads of cover crop seeds and something got into one of the drawers in, in the greenhouse and ate all the cover crop seeds. So I had to order new ones. So it must have been Mr. Ratty. Let's find, well, there we go. So, I don't know where he's dug this soil out from, but he's done it. Now our job is to open this up. I can remember how I've tied it. So let's open this side of this leaf more piled up. Now I've got it pretty much done. There we go. So we're going to start off with this one. And I'm going to just pop a little bit of this ratty soil in. I'm just going to lift him. Where's that trowel going? His roots have gone quite... I'm going to try and get as many roots as I can. So, I can feel how far his roots have gone down. And I'm trying to get as many as possible without damaging him. There we go. Come on. Out you come. So that's his root ball. So I'm going to top that up to about there with com fresh compost and then we'll overwinter that. But there we go, that's one plant. Now I'm sure the next one's going to fit in here. This one's this one I'm not going to touch because it's got quite a few fresh chilies on it and the root's coming out a lot easier. So I'm imagining the root ball's going to be a bit smaller on this. There we go. So we're going to start picking our leaf ball now. And this is, this is a year old, it's had stuff growing in it. I'm going to pick all this out. What I'll do is I'll sift it off. Keep the good stuff and all this big stuff can go back to be composted. I think that's quite nice, really fine texture, really nice. So I'm just going to carry on sifting all of this off. You don't want to see me just sifting and stuff. And I'll show you when I'm making the next leaf ball pile. So there we go, that's my leaf ball harvest. We've got two 30 litre containers and I don't know how big that is, probably about 40 litres, but that's not bad. So all together, 100 litres of leaf, leaf mould, made really passively while it was heating our greenhouse as well. I'm happy with that. But what I'll do with this is I'll bag this up and I'll store it for when I'm starting to store, sow seeds in the spring. And now I'm going to get on to making the rest of my leaf mould and doing the whole process again. So I'm putting the cage back together and 
as you know, I don't do anything in a very sophisticated or a very over overly technical way. So all I'm doing is I'm taking some string and I'm threading it between the holes and tying this wire cage back, back together. What I've done is I've put this board in at the bottom so I know when I've got to the bottom uh, of, my, of my compost pile rather than just digging away at the soil underneath. So I've reached the top and now I'm just going to tie it in place. I'm going to start filling this. So the point of this is this is going to act as my backup heater in here. The compost pile is going to generate heat. That's why I've laid the leaves out on the grass paths and on the grass lawn and mowed it over so I get a good mix of leaves as well as uh, grass and that will generate heat. So I'm going to start filling this up. So we've got a good mix of leaves and grass there so we've killed two birds with one stone and I'm going to just keep stacking it up like that and this is going to start heating up and generating heat and it's going to heat my greenhouse. I mean last year when I did this I had some really good results. I kept, I was able to grow throughout winter in here because of my two hotbeds. Normally these kind of greenhouses they do get really cold and the outside temperatures really hit them but my greenhouse stayed above about 5-6 degrees all the way through winter and that's something that I'm really happy with. And this is why I'm going for this little hotbed first. We set this little compost pile up first and this starts generating heat and then we'll set the big one up probably in December when it's really cold and that'll see me through the rest of the winter. So I'm going to carry on filling this but there's a few modifications that I'm going to make to the one that I made last year. Last year it was just it was just this compost pile on its own and it was fine. But I'm going to add a couple of a couple of extra little bits this year. So what I've got here is an old piece of drain pipe from leftover from when we had our gutters changed. Um, and what I've done with this is I've just drilled some holes down either side of it, and I've used a quite a large drill bit. So I'm just going to put it in the middle of the leaf wall pipe pile, and as you can see there's a quite a thick layer of grass clippings at the moment now I'm just going to add more and more leaves I'm going to fill that all the way up to the top so it's just my mix of leaves and grass but I'm just filling it all the way to the top I'll give it a little water as well what this pipe is going to act as it's going to perform two functions so it'll act like a chimney for the pile and one function that it'll do is it'll take down oxygen for the bacteria in the pile to feed off but it'll also act in a way as to draw out hot air from within the pile and release that into the compost into the greenhouse so as I keep stacking it I'm going to stack it all the way to the top and I'm going to fill it and it'll and it'll start heating this greenhouse all I did with the leaves was I put them out on the grass lawn mowed them over with lawn mower so I've got a good mix of leaves good mix of grass so I've got my greens and I've got my browns I'm just going to fill this pile up and we're just going to keep going all the way to the top. So we're getting a good mix of grass and leaves in here. And at each stage what I'm doing is after I'm putting a little layer on is I'm giving it a water with some water from that collects rainwater from my chicken run but it also catches a lot of chicken manure in it so we'll just water that every few every few buckets that we add and that should get the pile heating really nicely I'm just washing these down in a few days this will naturally drop the level the level will naturally drop and what as it does I'm going to top it up and get it back to the top again and we're going to keep filling it and we're going to keep filling it we're going to keep topping it up every time it drops because we've still got a couple of bags of leaves left and I think the grass will need cutting maybe one more time before we stop for the year so um, I'm expecting that to hit while I give it the last water so I'm expecting this to hit probably 30 degrees by tomorrow and then at its peak I think it'll stay around 40-50 uh, degrees for a good few weeks and we'll get warm air coming out of there and heating this greenhouse and that'll start off the heating process for this greenhouse before I start building the main hotbed again to heat the, main, the rest of the greenhouse so the last thing that I'm going to do I've got my lemon plant 
that's going on here and those two chili plants that I took out earlier they're going to sit on here as well and they're going to benefit from the heat that's generating from here and that's how I'm going to overwinter those chilies and that lemon I'm going to let overwinter them out here in the, in the heat from this hotbed so um, what I'll do is I'll get this bit of gourd cut down as well and I'll shred that up and I'll get that in there as well I've done videos on leaf mould and the benefits of leaf mould and why it's really really beneficial do go and check those out because in those videos I explain the detail around leaves and why you want to make leaf mould and how it's beneficial for your garden don't forget to hit the like subscribe I will also do videos on patreon so if you fancy becoming a patreon and supporting this channel even more than you already are then that's an option for you as well thank you very much for watching take care assalamu alaikum warahmatullah